Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and I'm here today to talk about my best of 2018. But I'm focusing today on makeup. I had so many different things that I just didn't want to like bombard you guys with so much. I wanted just to focus on one thing at a time. So today I'm going to go over my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup items. Now, I came across so many makeup items last year that I fell in love with, but these are the things that I was reaching for all the time, like the holy grails that just never let me down. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off in order by how I apply my makeup, and we'll start off talking about primers. So there was one primer this year that I was just head over heels for, and you'll see with a lot of these items I'm going to share with you that I've talked about them before, where I have like an entire video just dedicated to that product. And if there's something that you see and you really want a demo or a video on it, just let me know and I'll incorporate it into something. Now, this primer was life for me. It's from Tatcha and it's their Silk Canvas Primer. I do have a video on this. I'll link it below. This primer was very different than what I've been used to in the past. It's not a liquid form. It's actually... It's actually finished <laughs> but on the inside it was like a nice smooth creamy sort of like um, texture and you apply it to your face your face looks completely white but it is doing color correction on top of just minimizing all of your pores making your face look completely smooth and flawless it is definitely on the pricey side but a hundred percent worth it I must have picked it up probably like in February maybe March and it's lasted me the entire year. I just finished it. So if you have a chance to pick it up, definitely try it if you have very oily skin. It does a great job of controlling your oil and making your foundation literally just like stick to your face. Now let's talk about foundation. You guys, <laughs> I tried so many different foundations this year. It was insane. I pretty much want to share every single one with you guys, but I won't. I won't. I'm just share a couple of them. The one I was very much in love with because of the fact that the color match was really nice. They have a pretty good color selection for the darker shades and it was quite affordable as far as the brand goes. It's a luxury brand. So I was grateful for the pricing is the Dior Skin Foundation. I also have a video on this foundation and it is incredible. The packaging is very pretty and it's also a squeezy tube which makes it super easy and I truly appreciate conscious packaging because I have come across a foundation, we don't talk about it today, that I fell in love with completely but the packaging is horrific. But anyway, the Dior Skin, I have it in a 7N and it is a medium medium coverage I would say it's a full coverage foundation I like it for going out it does a really good job of making me look very even it's for your face and body so you can apply it to other places on your body um, it's very small so it's easier to travel with and like I said it's a squeezy tube so there's no glass it's just a beautiful formula my face just always look very radiant very rich and very healthy whenever I use this and I also loved mixing this with other brands of foundation. So if I had a foundation that was just way too light, if I put a couple of drops of this with it, it just kind of gave it that like rich kind of texture if it was lacking and it really just did a good job of blending into my skin so much better. So this foundation I would definitely recommend if you're looking for something new. Now this one I haven't heard a lot of people talking about, which I was kind of surprised by because I loved it especially in the summertime it's from Lancome and I know a lot of people like the other Lancome foundations which I haven't necessarily really liked in the past but I loved this one this one's called skin feels good and it is supposed to be more of like a tinted moisturizer than a foundation I find it to be a lot more covering than a tinted moisturizer and the formula seems just a little bit more thicker this is a foundation in my opinion and it has SPF in it, which is why it was so good in the summer. It has a SPF of 23. It's not a lot, but it's it's something. And it gives my face a really nice hydrated look. Now, I have oily skin, and those of you who have oily skin, I know everyone's always trying to run away from the hydrated, glowy look. But the benefits of having something that gives you that, like luminosity not shine but luminosity really helps your skin to just look a lot younger and a lot fresher and it doesn't look just dry and cakey this foundation was 
awesome. The color match was so good, which is really hard for me to find. So I appreciated that. The packaging is nice. It's also a squeezy tube, but it has a little pump here, which is awesome. And it does have like a bottom piece so it can sit straight up. These things are important to me. It could sit straight up by itself. Um, I would definitely repurchase it again. I will do a review because I haven't done one and I should for this one. I'll do like a demo and show you what it looks like, but it is a beautiful formula. I would definitely recommend it. If you don't like wearing a lot of makeup, it's that really nice balance between like foundation, full coverage, and a tinted moisturizer. The last foundation I'll show y'all, because I'm not going to show you everything, even though I want to. The last one I'm going to show you guys is from Flesh Beauty. I did a whole review on the Flesh Beauty line. I actually did a demo, so I tried it on for you guys. These are their Flesh Thick Stick Foundations, I believe it's called. Very tiny. So for value, mm, but I love the formula. Very rich, very smooth. I'm wearing it today and I have two colors. I have S'more and I have Cafe. And what I do with them is I use one just like around my face, a S'more, it's a darker one. And then I go in with this lighter one as my highlight area if I'm just looking for a very natural look. And for those of you guys who watch my channel, you know that I'm very big nowadays on like the no makeup makeup foundation. I like my skin to just look very smooth and rich and like skin. And these foundations do a really good job of that. I don't see a lot of people talking about flesh, but I do think that their makeup is really nice. And with this cute little packaging, it's very travel friendly and it's just like a reliable sort of makeup that I feel always looks nice and it's really easy to use. Now let's talk eyeshadows. I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. It's not really my thing. I'm normally wearing just like one earth tone color, you know, like today. <laughs> but I did love one palette this year that gave me very beautiful, rich colors without having to do a lot of work. I'm not a makeup artist, but this particular eyeshadow makes it so easy, like pretty much foolproof you can put it on and look like a makeup artist because of the way that it transfers onto your skin it's just ah oh, so beautiful and it's from Pat McGrath and it's a mothership 2 palette I believe the mothership sublime bronze ambition palette uh, of course the packaging is to die for I love Pat McGrath makeup in general it's just super luxury super easy to use and um, the palette has very beautiful colors for dark complexions easy sort of like transition colors and beautiful shiny like oh look at this one this bronze is just so pretty they're just so beautiful on deep skin I like that it's very travel friendly very easy to use um, like I said completely foolproof I think that the prices of the smaller palettes like what I just showed you are quite reasonable the bigger ones tend to get kind of pricey but honestly there's a lot in the pan. It will last you forever and it's totally worth every penny. The only other eyeshadow palette I was very into in 2018 was from Fenty Beauty and I did a whole review on like actually I did a whole demo and review using this particular product and it's the Kilowatt Foils. I have it in the Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset beautiful colors um, they just look so pretty on dark skin whether you're using it as a highlighter as an eyeshadow or even as a lipstick beautiful 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 I took it with me to Vegas this summer and I remember this was the only thing I took and I used it every single day and night for different looks um, the colors are so pigmented they look so beautiful I mean I think I want to go back and get the other color lot foils. I only got this one, but they have other colors and I feel like I need to go ahead and just use them because they're so reliable as far as giving you that color payoff and just looking super done up with very, very little effort. Even today, I'm wearing the um, darker one, the Sangria Sunset, underneath my waterline and it's just so beautiful. It's just that pop of color you need and I, I loved it. I loved it loved love this one now let's get into blush now you guys know i'm not a huge blush person because in the past i told you that blush tends to just look like too much on my skin like i'm just doing way too much but if you use just a little bit in the right colors for your complexion it doesn't really look dramatic now um i used a couple of blushes this year over and over and over again um they were subtle enough to just give me a little bit of oomph and gave my skin just that slight flush of color i was looking for the first one is from Flesh Beauty and I again demoed it in that video and I have it in Caress. 
the blushes are really small from flesh which I like very easy to carry they don't break like the MAC blushes do and it doesn't look like much in the packaging like it really looks like okay basic as basic gets but honestly when you apply it to the skin it truly gives you like the perfect flush of color and it works with pretty much anything you're wearing I have it in this color and I also have it in the like orange the burnt orange color beautiful and honestly to be honest like the blushes I'm showing you today along with that orange one I could just be good with those I would never need to buy anything else because they work with everything and it's not dramatic and I like that so this one is definitely one of my favorites and if you want to see what it looks like on me then just check out my video the next two are from Mac this one is in oh my goodness this is one thing I can't stand about the Mac blushes that they go away you can't read it no more okay this one is in burnt pepper and it's a really pretty like red brown color it's a little bit lighter than raisin if you have raisin it's it's a little bit lighter than that I have it on today but like I said you can't really tell because I just use a tiny pinch of it just to give my face a flush of color and it's beautiful I love it it's lasted me a really long time I reach for it all the time especially if I'm wearing darker colors it's just like the perfect finish to my skin and then the second blush from MAC I have, and this one I don't really use it as a blush. I use it as a contour and it does me, it does me well. And this one's called Film Noir and it's this really dark like plum brown color. It's not purple, but it does have like this kind of vampy look to like it. I, said, I use it more as a contour underneath my blush. So as you can see, it just gives me a little bit. You can definitely overdo this very easily so you have to just be very light handed as you're using it but it is a beautiful contour color on dark skin you can use it as a blush too but I feel like it might look a little bit too dark as a blush like it won't give you a blushy vibe it'll just kind of look like a dark spot on your face so I think it's better used as a contour it's beautiful and I wanted to share this with you guys because I really don't use too much mascara I do on a day-to-day -day because I don't wear lashes every day. I only wear lashes if I'm really doing it up. So on a day-to-day, -day, my favorite mascara that I love is from Buxom. It's this right here. It's like a pretty big mascara when you look at it. It's, it's really, really thick. And the brush on it is actually very big and thick, which I love. And it gives my eyes that perfect lengthening and volume that you would want if you are just putting mascara on your natural lashes you don't always want to look done up sometimes you just want to look awake and alive and fresh and this gives me all of that and it truly does give me volume my lashes used to be super super long and thick and I don't mess with them so much that now they kind of aren't but this makes it look like they are what I like most about it is that it rarely ever clumps it's able to separate pretty well and it gives me like that black black color because without this my lashes look non-existent if you're just looking at me if I don't have any mascara on you wouldn't even know I had lashes so this has a pretty dramatic difference from when you put it on and I love it I got it from Ulta I believe I'm not sure if they sell buxom at Sephora but it's definitely worth picking up now let's talk about highlighters I have a number of highlighters I picked up this year and different varieties like liquid ones, powder ones, sort of like gelish ones and with highlighters it takes me forever to get through them so I don't think I need to have like 30,000 of them. Having two or three is more than enough. This one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I talked about this in a haul last year and it's from Amrezy. I believe she is like a very popular YouTuber and this was her highlighter. It is wonderful just the packaging alone is breathtaking as you can see it's like this really interesting sort of like champagne-ish color which I didn't think would work for me and it doesn't always work for me it only works on certain spots in my face otherwise with my complexion it just it can look like an ashy glitter <laughs> but on my nose on my bridge on like just certain parts of my face it is beautiful I have it on today like right at the tip of my nose and you probably wouldn't notice because it's so subtle but if I just take it and tap it it gives you a really natural glow and I love it I mean I use it almost every single day even if I'm not wearing real makeup like if I'm just putting on powder or something light or nothing I'll still put this on my nose because it looks like my skin 
truly it does not look like makeup when I put it on and I love it it's just that perfect healthy look the color is perfect I think the formula is perfect and it just makes me look alive this was definitely a purchase that I'm happy I was able to do because I think it might be limited edition and you may not be able to pick it up but I truly hope it's still available another highlighter I love this year which I also think was a collaboration with a youtuber is from persona this is a brand I had never heard about in the past wasn't familiar with it I saw another youtuber use it and I said oh, that is so pretty and when I got it I was just head over heels it's a Cali glow highlighter and it's in Del Mar in the packaging it may not look like much and you know nowadays everybody's coming out with a highlighter it's like okay how do you differentiate what you would prefer for me it's more about the color payoff how much do I have to use to get that perfect sort of glow and what does it look like on my complexion is it really vibing with my actual undertones or not this one definitely is you don't need a lot it's so rich it's like a beautiful gold with like crystals I feel like it's just it's so pretty I have it on today you can see that flush of color and you don't need a lot I don't usually overdo it with this it's very very rare that I would like pack it on it's not necessary it gives you a very done up glamorous look and I believe the pricing was very reasonable so this is definitely something I would recommend so you guys can check that out if you are curious the last highlighter I have is unique and it's not for everybody but I fell in love with it this year it's also from flesh beauty and it's the flesh pot I've talked about this so much at this point I have it in the color disco nap and it's sort of like a Vaseline sort of texture but it has small flakes in it of glitter, I guess you would say. And it gives your face like that beautiful, no makeup, makeup, balmy sort of highlight. I like to use it first and I have it on today. I put a tiny bit right here and a tiny bit on my nose and then I'll go in with whatever highlighter I'm actually gonna use. And it gives your face that perfect, healthy highlight. It's very small, very easy to travel with. The only thing that I would say is that I would like for there to be some sort of applicator so you don't have to stick your hand in it because it's kind of nasty to do that. But otherwise, it is just beautiful. I'll use it too on this area. I didn't today, but a lot of times if I'm going out and I just want it to be like the most dramatic, wet looking highlight, I'll put this on first and then I'll add my highlight over it. It's so pretty. I demoed it in my Flesh Beauty video, so I will link that again. This is definitely a favorite. I would have purchased it over and over again. So definitely check this one out. Now let's talk bronzers. I know I talked about bronzers in my winter favorites, I believe. So this is sort of a repeat if you watch that video. But I loved both of these bronzers. One of them is from YSL and it's the Bronzing Stones and Les Sarahini's. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Number three and it's a perfect bronzer. It gives you like this really nice sort of warm brown summery look without being dramatic, without looking like you done caked yourself on with a tan. It's beautiful. It's great for contouring. You don't even notice when you put it on. It just sort of happens. Your face just all of a sudden just looks so warm. I love it. It's pricey but it's worth it and the second one I have is from Colourpop Cosmetics in the color it just says bronzer it doesn't even have like a a color but it's their press bronzer and it's very dirty at this point because I use it <laughs> but I also like using this like around my face for my complexion this one shows but it's not dramatic which is why I like it if you're darker than my complexion you would definitely not want to use this one and perhaps maybe use like the CoverGirl Queen bronzer or maybe some other darker color from this brand because I like the way it applies. It does look very beautiful. I'm wearing them both today like around my face. You can barely see it which is why I like it and it just brings the whole makeup look together especially if you wear foundation that's just too light for you for some reason. You got stuck with a foundation that was too light. Bronzers are the best thing to use around your face so that at least it matches with your body and then the middle of your face can just be whatever color it happens to be from the foundation. So I would definitely recommend both of these if you can check them out. Let's talk about lipsticks or lips in general. I was wanting something to help me really allow my liquid lipsticks to stick onto my lips 
and yeah just give it that staying power that I was looking for with some of the brands that was challenging and also just to kind of moisturize my lips before putting my liquid lipsticks on and this is something I used in the past so it's sort of a rediscovery but I fell in love all over again with it and it's from MAC and it's their lip primer very basic primer for your lips it goes on like a lipstick or like a lipstick gloss it's like this white color and you just put it on your lips first and then you apply your lipstick I've even used it with lip glosses I've used it with regular lipsticks and it does a really good job of having it last I notice a huge difference in how long the wear is a lot of times if I use this first and I don't eat like a super greasy lunch or anything it lasts over 14 hours on my lips so I will never go without this as long as I don't change the formula. This is something that I feel is a very essential staple in your collection if you wear lipsticks or especially if you wear liquid lipsticks. The actual lipsticks that I've been loving, and I have so many lipsticks, it's insane. I'm going to be doing a makeup declutter soon, so you're going to see the outrage. I mean, it is insane. But I do tend to reach for the same sort of colors or the same brand because of the formula. One of the lipsticks I loved was from Milk, and I talked about this in I think my summer favorites or my Fenty Beauty video, one of them. I actually had this on with like a nude over it and it's so pretty. This is in the color Wifey and it's sort of like a lip crayon. You roll it on up. It's a very pretty pink color and it kind of gives you that like pink without being over the top. It goes on sort of like a lipstick slash lip gloss because it's not super matte. It does have like a satin finish to it. Um, I can swatch it for you if you'd like to see. It was just a very reliable color for me this year and it is hard for me to find a really solid pink. So this is something I really enjoyed using. This one is more of like a lip gloss. Oh, well, it is a lip gloss, but it's extremely pigmented and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Rum. This is a perfect sort of brown girl berry color. Beautiful during the fall and the winter seasons. I love the payoff. It looks good with every single thing. And the applicator is beautiful. I think this is just like one of the most beautiful colors. Here's the wand and I will swatch it for you. It's definitely a favorite of mine. I like Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses a lot. And yeah, like I said, the color payoff is, is amazing. It lasts all day. If you prime your lips, you really can do a lot with it depending on what you line it with. It can look like a lot of different things. And the last lipstick that I really think is worth picking up is from Dose of Colors. I've talked a lot about Dose of Colors in the past because I think that their liquid lipstick formulas are phenomenal. They are moussey, but they're also very pigmented. They last a long time on your lips. They don't dry your lips out. They're reasonably priced. They're very easy to carry around. And this one is in the color Mood. Again, it's like a berry color. Um, I have it in lots of other colors. I've talked about it in the past. So if you watch my videos and you've seen the other colors I like as well. But this one is a really nice, again, berry winter color. It's Now again, it is a liquid lipstick, so it is going to dry matte. I'll show you in a couple seconds what it looks like because it goes on like how you just saw, but it definitely does die down, but it doesn't look so matte that your lips look dry, which is, it's awesome. You can check that one out at Sephora. They're the ones that sell the Dose of Colors. Now, as far as lip liners go, I'm pretty basic with lip liners. I don't really experiment or venture out too much. Um, I love MAC Chestnut, of course. Night Moth is cool, but this one was brand new to me this year, and I'm so happy I picked it up because it is a limited edition. It was from their Aaliyah line from MAC Cosmetics, and I did a whole review on the Aaliyah lip glosses and this lip liner. It's a very dark, dark 
burgundy-ish color. It's darker than Night Moth. So if you have Night Moth, like I said, Night Moth is cool, but I like this one more because it's darker than Night Moth. Night Moth has a lot of purple in it, and sometimes it just, I'm not looking for purple. I'm looking for like deeper. And this color is a Nevermore. And let me go ahead and just swatch it so you can see. They give you a lot. The pencil was really long, which I'm so happy about. And let me just show you how dark it is. It's very dark. So the color is not for everyone. It's for those of you guys who like having a very dark outer lining. If you are deeper skinned, even deeper than I am, it's perfect. Or if you just want like your very deep lipsticks to look even darker, I think it's just so pretty. Um, so it's definitely something if they still have it, you should look into if you're into that. If you wear black lipsticks or super dark brown lipsticks and you just want to deepen it, it's perfect for it. I loved that pencil. Now the very last thing I want to talk about because it's not like it didn't fit into any real category. I guess it's somewhat like a concealer but it's one of those in-between makeup items that they're coming out with nowadays where it's not really this and it's not really that. It's just something to make your skin and makeup look better. It's from Hourglass and this is what it looks like. It looks like a actual concealer and it's supposed to be used as one, sort of. It's called a retouching veil and I have an almond. The purpose of this is supposed to be to like bring your makeup back to life. If your foundation is separating and you're out, you can just kind of like do a little bit of this and it sort of brings your foundation back to life. I've never tried it like that. I wouldn't even want to because I don't know what could happen, but a lot of people love it for that. Me personally, I like it to put underneath my highlighter or just underneath my eyes if I'm not wearing makeup. It gives you a little bit of color, not a lot. It just kind of gives you life, like it awakens your eyes. And if I put a foundation over it or if I put my concealer over it, my concealer and my eyes just look so bright and healthy. And if I wear it with no makeup, my skin just looks so beautiful. I can show you by swatching it, but you know, you kind of have to just try it out for yourself. The almond color has a little bit of color, so there's a tiny bit of color, but honestly, once you pack it into your skin or rub it out, there's not much of a color. It's just a luminosity and it's beautiful. I love it. It's a great addition to your makeup routine if you want to add a little something something in there. And um, that's it guys. That's that's it. I think I've talked enough <laughs> and I've shown you the things that I really love. So those are the products my best of 2018 for makeup. If you like this video let me know. If there's something that you do love in this video also let me know. Or if there's a product that you really loved that you think I would like or I should check it out, please let me know in the comments below. All links will be below and videos to things that I have a full dedicated review on will also be below. So check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube channel, my YouTube family. I love y'all so much. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video. Big kisses, Mwah. peace, love, and like.